you to come into your house for an hour is ridiculous. And um, so are you part of the lawsuit? Um, Every single LA? person is a, a part of that lawsuit. And so what does it mean to you that that you win that lawsuit? They won't do it to someone else. That's what it means to me. I don't want them to do it to another person. I don't know how many other people lost their people have lost their houses over this. People have uh, like young couple bought a bought an old house built 1954 and they came in and they gave them a $5,200 fine. Here's a young couple both working trying to pay for their starter home. So maybe it was a grow up before they bought it and they come and they do that to them, you know. And there was no evidence. They had no evidence of a grow up and they condemned their house. So there's about 285 people that were charged. Um, for grow ups, and they've never found any evidence uh, except for in two places, I believe. And uh, it's a cash grab, you know, if they don't find anything, it's not supposed to be paid by the taxpayer. So, if they don't give out fines, they don't have a job, yeah. So, that's, that's what that's what gives them the money to keep their jobs. So, it's uh, it's gonna it, it's probably gonna cost the municipalities us. Yeah. Some money because taxes will go up. Taxes will have to pay for it for sure. And what do you make of um, two computers that were seized a couple of days ago? Well, I make uh, of it is what uh, John Ferry said in the province in his article about uh, municipal, like making using the RCMP to, you know, uh, supposed, supposedly a leak in. Uh, and in-camera meetings, but in-camera meetings that they shouldn't have been holding anyways. There's only a certain criteria for in-camera meetings, and uh, they've been having them once a week. Is that part of your protest here tonight as well? Yeah, yeah we don't want them. Every, every meeting that they should have should be public knowledge, not in-camera, in secret. So that's also a nice reason. The public has the right to know what they're doing. Yeah. You know, they're hired by us. The taxpayers, you know, if the lawsuit goes through, the taxpayers are going to be paying, you know, three times the amount of what they collected for their for their fines. They're going to be paying that back plus another ten to fifteen thousand dollars per person for all the stuff that they've had to go through. So it's you know, it's not it's not fair to the regular taxpayer. You know, like that. And their whole deal with what they're doing is, is wrong. You know, they're just you know, taking, taking things on themselves to do things. And, you know, it's, it's illegal what they've done. It's already been proven in Surrey and the Clinton, or the Supreme Court of Canada. It's illegal for what they're doing. It is, without overstating it, it's simply about democracy. And that's a topic that doesn't seem to be understood inside those four walls. Here, here. Here for liberty. Straight on. I've just got, aside from saying thank you one more time, I've just got two things to say. If this was an attempt to intimidate, it ain't going to work. Right on. Right on. Right on. That simply won't work. And the other thing is, don't get mad, get even. This town, this town needs a change. It needs a change of six people. And we've got to fight between now and November. Not necessarily to elect people who you agree with or I agree with on everything, but people who've got some moral compass. Because the one thing that's lacking in this city hall is a moral compass. And that's where the culture of secrecy, the viciousness, the uncaring way in which people are treated, that's where it comes from. It's a simple lack of decency. It has to end, and the ending of it didn't start tonight, but tonight has boosted it, it's on its way. So let's hang together until November. And we will remember in November. Thanks, yeah. Ron. Remember in November. Remember in November. Remember in November. Ladies and gentlemen. Remember in November! Remember in November!
somebody here who got a $5,200 fine and there's no illegal activities going on. That's what they get illegal. You know what? They, what they said, my words, their words to me. You know what? We assume. I go, I don't care what you assume. Show me some proof. 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 I know. Resign. The mind was made up before they got there.